hoofed mammals include some of the largest and most impressive land mammals. Rhinoceroses, horses, giraffes, deer, and antelopes are all examples of hoofed mammals. These animals all have a hard nail-like case, called a hoof, covering each toe on their feet. There are some animals in which the hooves do not fully cover the toe and are more like nails, such as in camels or hippopotamuses. Hoofed mammals are divided into two groups, even-toed hoofed mammals, such as deer, giraffes, pigs, and cattle, and odd-toed hoofed mammals, which include horses, rhinoceroses, and tapers. Odd-toed hoofed mammals stand on one or three toes, while even-toed hoofed mammals stand on two or four toes. Most hoofed mammals are plant-eaters. Hoofed mammals are mostly found in open habitats, such as grasslands. Hoofed mammals can run very fast for long distances. They run on their toes. Running on fewer toes means they use fewer muscles, helping them save energy. Hoofed mammals also have long lower limbs, which allow them to cover more distance with each stride. Claws and talons are specialized tools that most land-based predators have evolved, and with good reason. While a well-placed hoof kick can cause serious damage, it wouldn't be nearly the advantage to a carnivore that strong, sharp claws, and a good set of canine teeth prove to be. Predators need to dispatch their prey quickly after they catch it, or the wounded animal may still escape, meaning no dinner for the hunter. Clubbing the prey to death while being unable to hold it is inefficient at best. There aren't currently any hoofed animals typically described as carnivores. Wild boars often eat animals, but they are omnivores, not primarily carnivores, and not carnivorans. For that matter, Lots of hoofed animals will eat animal-derived food given the opportunity. Cows and deer will eat small birds. Giraffes like to chew on bones and skulls for minerals. Lots and lots of herbivores will eat carrion if they come across it. Meat, after all, is energy-dense and nutritious, and herbivorous animals do not have vegetation ideologies to adhere to. There had been hoofed carnivores, but they are all extinct. Entelodont is a scary-looking prehistoric monster that is also referred to as the Terminator Pig. Entelodonts were gigantic, pig-like omnivores weighing around 50 to 900 kilograms that roamed the forests and plains of North America and Eurasia around 45 million years ago. Despite their nicknames, these animals weren't actually pigs. Instead, they were more closely related to hippos and whales. They're described to possess cloven hooves, just like modern-day ungulates, and a heavy head that was carried by a spinal hump, as well as full sets of teeth, including large canines, heavy incisors, pointed premolars, and flat molars, all of which suggest an omnivorous diet that allowed entelodonts to feed on plants and other animals alike. Armed with this equipment, the Entelodont was a much feared killer, a bold thief that wouldn't hesitate to steal a neighboring carnivore's kills in the process. It used its monstrous size and unparalleled power to intimidate other predators, some being way dwarfed by this enormous behemoth and fend them off, as well as a powerful hunter that utilized its superior strength and nightmarish jaws to crush the skull of its hapless victim. Any animal could be on the menu, no matter how large or simply insignificant, such as primitive horses and camels. Over the years, when climatic conditions began to change, the Entelodont evolved to become even larger than it initially was, but that only led to its downfall, especially when it couldn't adapt to hunting new, faster prey, including some that developed longer legs to hit whopping speeds of up to 80 kilometers an hour or more, and it was outcompeted by new carnivores that had more sophisticated weaponry and were far more adaptable, including the formidable Amphicionid, also known as the Bear Dog. In light of this, Entelodonts eventually followed the path to complete extinction 19 million years ago. Masonicids were a group of predatory ungulates 
and their fossils have been found in Western America and Canada, as well as in Northern Mongolia and China. Their most characteristic feature was that they had primitive hooves. These early hooves were a mix between very long toenails and hooves, and each toe of this four-legged creature had one hoof. Masani kids exemplified a wide variety of appearances, ranging from those similar to wolves, hyenas, bears, and dogs. However, even though they are similar in appearance to land animals, some consider Masani kids to be ancestors of whales. They had an elongated skull and triangular teeth, which are similar to whales. These creatures also had an inner ear, which is a characteristic feature of whales. Masani kids were predatory carnivores. They may have also been scavengers, similar to hyenas. They had powerful jaws, and their teeth, as previously mentioned, were similar to whales' teeth. This evidence suggests that these creatures probably ate marine life and scavenged off the shore. However, they probably used their primitive hooves to hold the meat in place while they tore it off using their teeth. Andrusarchus is a genus of carnivorous mammal that originated during the Middle Eocene epoch in what is now Asia and Africa. Standing around 6 feet, or 2 meters tall, measuring 18 to 20 feet, or 5.5 to 6 meters in length, and weighing around a ton, or 2,000 pounds, Andrusarchus was among the largest mammalian carnivore to ever walk the earth. Their appearance seems similar in color scheme to a cheetah, yellow with black spots and stripes. Despite their canine-like appearance, Andrusarchus was not related to modern scavengers such as dogs, wolves, or even hyenas. They were, in a sense, sheep in wolf's clothing, but they were definitely not as docile as sheep. Their huge one-meter-long jaws are designed to crush anything, such as a sea turtle, there were more other hoofed predators. Some early ancestors of today's whales ate fish, but had hoofed feet. An example of one of these hoofed cetaceans is Endohyus. There is even an extinct species of pig, a true pig, not an entelodont, which seems to show adaptations for high carnivory, even bone-crushing tetraconodon. However, it's still an obscure and little-studied species. There have been several occurrences of hoofed animals going carnivorous in prehistory. It's just that all the lineages have gone extinct. As to why they're gone, it's not to do with their hoofedness, but rather for miscellaneous unrelated reasons. It's not always clear why you don't find hoofed carnivores nowadays, though there is a plausible theory. To catch prey, including large game like zebras and antelope, a carnivore is requiring of speed and agility, assisted by sharp claws and paws that walk on toes or digits. Hence, some carnivores classification as digitigrades. While hooves are more useful to run like hell, they aren't really efficient in accomplishing maneuvers to hunt. Another hypothesis could be that for them is easier and steadier to eat plants than to hunt other animals for food. All the big animals are pure plant eaters today. The biggest carnivore is the polar bear about 400 kilograms, or 880 pounds, compared to the elephant with 6,000 kilograms, or 13,200 pounds. Plant eaters have longer lifespans, so why would hoofed carnivores not use the first evolutionary chance to turn into omnivores and plant eaters? That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.